Good morning, everybody. So we shall go to our first presentation today, which will be by researcher and lecturer Patrick Brett from Karlsruhe University of Applied Sciences. Let's give a warm welcome. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Today, I like to talk about the CAPL, the Karlsruhe Platform Innovation Lab. It's a live lab to design digital platform business models through cooperation between academia and corporates. So we made this with students, but also with PhD students. But first, I'd like to introduce myself quickly. So um, I came from the University of Applied Science in Karlsruhe, um, and the lecture is about digital platform business model in the faculty of business administration and uh, management and beside product development in me mechanical engineering uh, works under my uh, academic head uh, professor dr carsten hahn uh, carsten has a special role so carsten is a splitting professor so he works just 40 percent at the university as a professor and the other 60 percent he works as a director at sap that's the the software company so we also have this spin of uh, the practical uh, impact and we designed together the karlsruhe platform innovation led but look about today agenda or what we like to do in the next 40 uh, 45 minutes so um we will do a small warm up game and uh, so that i got the attention so uh, yeah after that i will give you some motivation why platform business model are relevant then how we designed the the platform uh, innovation lab uh, after that, I would go like a small deep dive to the team building because it's really important uh, because we have like four or five teams running and uh, so that they are really motivated. And also bro, you can use some of this, uh, which we uh, already um, uh, prepared and worked on. Then I give you some insights about the practical application. Then if we have time, we will make uh, also a small work session here with uh, four groups. And uh, then uh, after that, probably also using some warm-up games because we find out to do that after a break, also working uh, with corporates and uh, people. So after the break, making a small uh, warm-up game. And so started with the first one. So the first one, it's called Whale or Win. So a fail or win. So uh, next, uh, you will see three pictures. Uh, and so if you know all these three guys, then raise your hand and you can tell the names of these three guys. And the winner uh, will got or will get some gold. So uh, yeah, uh, <coughs> winner winner. So be attention. We will yeah play two around. So if you know all three, just uh, yeah raise your hand or, or say it straight. Okay, but you have to know all three, not just two. All three you have to say right. Okay, so pay attention. Who knows these three guys? <laughs> Okay, who who know, who who, know, who knows him? Just raise the hand. Okay, some of them. Who knows him? Come come. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is. Yeah, I think everyone knows him. And him, yeah. Okay, um, just to give you some so, some hints, so he he uh, is related to Amazon. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, really from the. Greek uh, methodology, the, the Greek, um, it's the kind of the king. And he is uh, also founder of Google. So, uh, okay, but this is probably a ha hard one. Okay, make it fast. Uh, who is that? Yeah, I think you were first. Uh, <laughs> get, get it one. Okay, who's the second guy? Okay, yeah, so it's always right. And the last one? Yeah, the other one, it's Sergey Brin and Larry Page. So, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. The left and the right one, what is related? They also build like platform business models, uh, like in, in the past. So, we just uh, give another chance because now we had these gentlemen. So, we are going to, to the ladies. So, pay attention. If you know all three, just raise your hand and, and say it straight. So, now, uh, yeah, that's the, the, yeah. Who knows them? Yeah, if you know all of, all of them. Do you know all three? Okay, start here. Yes. Right. 
No, wrong. Okay, okay, next one, next one. Okay, again, okay, yeah. Yeah, we got this one. This one is. Wait. I don't know. But but you, you said it right. It's uh, uh Europe. Europe uh, on soy. So uh, we had this discussion yesterday, so some people didn't know. But who was it? You, right? Oh, I'm not sure. Ah, yeah, okay. Okay, so I hope I got you, I get your attention. So it's really good to, to make this uh, to to come uh, into the session. So, but now also take your mobile phone. I like to know what you understand as a platform business model. Just what came in your mind. So the first three things, you, there's no uh, wrong or right. So please just uh, scan the QR code, or you can go also to menti.com in your browser and then uh, take this uh, code. And just the, the things which came into your mind. So there's nothing wrong, just the first uh, three things. Okay, I see some first results. Just give me a sec. Okay, and here we go. So, yeah, oh, oh that's wrong. Go. So, and now also I'm sharing on the internet. Just a sec. So now, yeah, it should work again. Okay, uh, entrepreneurship. Some of you said, uh, yeah, if it's like bigger highlighted strategy, yeah, business plan. It's a plan. That's right. Uh, also agile uh, guideline, project idea, foundation, filling a need, using impact. Yeah, it should be an impact innovation. So this buzzword you also hear a lot, money making. That's also uh, Im 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 important. And uh, yeah, strategy is also yeah related to 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 the strategy because like shifting from uh, a normal business model to a platform business model is a big deal. So I'll just uh, coming back to the presentation. Thank you for that. So often, as you told, it's just a business model. So and often it's not about a product; it's about a business model. So who knows what is that? Got going a little bit back to the past. Yeah, it's a photocopy machine. So it was one of the first copy machine. This was a really nice technical product. Everyone loved that. Everyone liked to have it, but no one likes to pay for that. <laughs> so because say it's much too expensive. And then what we do nowadays, we lease like uh, uh, the um the photocopy or uh, copy printing machines or even desk if you open a new uh, office or something. So they went into the market with, uh, yeah, say, okay, you're leasing the, uh, so you pay monthly and probably you have some free copies. The other business model just to get, because yesterday I saw that you have a different background. So it's like razor and blade. So uh, yeah, the razor, it's uh, almost like for free, but you can use and the plates, they make the money with selling the plates. And you also have this, uh, with the coffee machines so coffee is sold around the world uh, the, the whole time but yeah as many some years ago like nespresso said okay we make it different and so the machine also costs like 100 euros or something but they make much much money if you count how much money you pay for one kilogram of, of coffee but yeah they go to the market and of course uh, the last one also as known is like the printers the printers they are really cheap and they make the money with this. So these are some examples of uh, the business to consumer uh, products. And now I talked about platform business models and about pipeline business models. So that's the opposite. So a pipeline business model. So you produce something, something you add it on the value stream. So some added value. And at the end, you will sell this uh, to, to the customer. But if you have a platform business model, so you orchestrate. So most of the time you are not owning the assets. So if you have a marketplace, this is one pattern of a digital platform business model. Uh, imagine like Amazon, they, um, they are a trader, they open the infrastructure so people can go to Amazon, they can uh, trade the vendors and they just orchestrate uh, some. Uh, a really famous one or good one is, is Apple. So they own some assets. So there are a lot of different patterns of, of digital platform business model. But um, yeah, so, but we have just the basic here today. So coming back to um, 
1998. So you see here the most valuable companies. So in gray uh, colored, uh, that's like the pipeline business models. And uh, in red, uh, Microsoft is like a platform business model. So if you go, it's like the market capitalization in US dollar. If you go 10 years later, not much changed, as you can see. And this slide is also from the Technical University of, of, of Darmstadt uh, from Dr. Um, Holger Schmidt. But if you go 10 years later, you see, okay, a lot of things changed. So um, the company is going to build a platform business model like Apple, Alphabet, or uh, probably, you know, as Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Tencent, Alibaba. And I also have here uh, some, some updated, okay, Saudi Aramco with the oil price, uh, they, they win the game or won it uh, in November, but still there's a shift in the most valuable companies. But looking at also around the whole world, so you see in America, all of them are owned uh, in, in America. In Europe, we are small a little bit, and also in Asia Pacific. Um, one reason is here, it's like also when you go and go to the market, the, the language, it's not like that fragmented. We have like rules, um, governance, if you go from uh, country to country. But we have a big chance here. And the chance is not in the business to consumer market, it's in the business to business market. And... Um, Apple is also a best practice to understand the logic of um, the digital platform business model. So if I come here, you can also see it's not a bubble chart. So here you see 2010, 10 years later. So the red ones are all platform business model. But if you look uh, to their annual report and even from Apple, so you see Apple makes a lot of money uh, with the services. So it's like 19 billion US dollars. So that's really, that's really massive. But, and now it's the big but, they make like uh, five, uh, four times more with the shiny piece of glass with which they're selling. And what we are good also in mechanical engineering, we are selling the products. And on that, we have to build on top like the ecosystem as a digital platform business model. And this is not quite new. So uh, as you can see here on the next slide, you will see some established companies. So... Up there, you have like class, they have these big uh, harvest machines. They built FarmNet uh, uh, 365, like uh, 2013. Also, you have like uh, Stiel. They tried to do that. They, they went to into market uh, 2022, but then they, they stopped. Uh, so they made some tests also with 10 dealerships in, in Austria. But then they found out uh, that it, it is not working because they don't have experience. They are good in mechanical engineering, designing, but now making the shift to digital transformation, it's really hard for them. So all of this, they are some working, but it's always in the early stage. So the, the companies are really struggling. We also did some research uh, about that companies, but yeah, here you see all the established companies they uh, went on top a digital platform business model, but they're still designing, they make experiments, they try to get to, to, to the market. So it's not uh, established uh, like in, in Apple, as we all uh, know. Uh, coming back, because also uh, the term uh, innovation. So our understanding of innovation is that, of course, we came from product development or from machine engineering. So we said, okay, we start with a product profile with the demand. Then also probably some idea came to you and we have a lot of inventions and that's really good at universities. You find a lot of inventions, but when it came to the market penetration, then we, we talk as an innovation. That's like our understanding uh, of, of innovation. So you need like the invention and uh, a successful market launch. And then we talk from, from innovation. The rest are just uh, inventions. And yeah, that's like the definition of Professor Albers. So when we talk that, and of course we came from product development, we, we say also product is like a technical system plus the business model is our product, but that's some definition stuff. Coming back, so I hope I got the awareness about uh, digital platform business. When it came to education, so uh, we also um, have a credo. Who, who knows this guy? Yeah, that's right. So what, what he said, so... Uh, yeah, you're welcome. He said, tell me and I forget, but teach me and I may remember, but involve me and I, I will learn. So we adapt this uh, credo and uh, also in uh, yeah 2020, uh, uh, we call it hybrid learning, but we have a different understanding of hybrid learning now, like nowadays. So what, what we said, so we start with theoretical knowledge. So it's really important that the students have the knowledge, that that's really important. 
Then also we make some reflection because most of the days we, we are not teaching the theory by ourselves. We are using massive open online courses. We also heard it uh, yes, yesterday. So we use from Google or from edX. edX probably is well known by Harvard and MIT. So they built this MOOC platform. And of course, the students doing that MOOCs. And if they like, then can have a certificate from Harvard, MIT, Stanford, but they have to pay $200 or something. So we are not paying for that, but the knowledge is for free. And then we're making the deep dive uh, in, in the session. And then it came to the practical application. So we uh, adopted the action uh, research and uh, not the action research, the, um, um, no, I forgot the, the, the name, so that they got a real world problem. And so they learn on this. And then after that, we also go to this uh, reflection. And all of our concepts uh, are related to this uh, theory. And um, yeah, one is like building digital platform business models. And here we uh, use also from edX.org. This is Professor Marshall van Alstein from the Boston University. So he's like the best researcher on the whole world. Also once uh, a year at the MIT, they make this, this, the summits and the research and they have these different sections. And so the students get access. So everybody can do that. And they have to, to uh, do that uh, all uh, massive open online courses. And as I told, it's it's for free and the course it's called Platform Strategy for Business. So how we designed uh, KPIL. So coming here, that's like the theory, understand the theory, reflect the theory, then get the real world problem and then the reflection. And of course, also for the company, it's really interesting to, to work together because then there is a transfer. And in some cases, they also build this platform business model. But we're starting here on the right. So we're starting with platform uh, strategy for business. So it, it's six weeks. So the students learn how to design uh, the architecture. Then they, they know about monetization. They know about is it open or is it closed? What we mean with open and closed, you can compare Apple with uh, Google. So on the one side, you have the, the Apple, um, the Google Play Store. So it's really easier to get or to um, uh, code an application than uh, besides of, of Apple. And even if you have the infrastructure of Android, you can adopt different kinds of laptops. But in the Apple ecosystem, so it's closed. You can just adapt your uh, devices. So this is also in industry a hard point to have this, the same firmware uh, run, running the business. And then we also gave them tools and methods uh, and uh, to design digital platform business models. Then we make the team building. This is really uh, important because we found out when they have a team, when they are proud and they're working and they really go the extra mile. And uh, also at the end, uh, we... Um, we look that the CEO is there. So even in mid-sized companies, if they have 20,000 employees, we look that the CEO is at the end on the stage and they to, uh, take two hours and then the students are really motivated um, to present. And so we make the team building and first we make the, the deep dive and the challenge. And at the beginning, we made B weekly sprints. So we adapted also Scrum and then the students give some updated and uh, we give them some uh, process of an innovation process, which is also by product de development. But we find out that here is a lot of improvement. I will come later to that. So this is also published. We did some research about, we, we are testing the methods. Uh, is they are good or not? And um, so, and at the end, here is like the transfer presentation. We also say no final presentation because it's all also the transfer and most of the time they continue. And uh, here it's like a more easy slide uh, for you. Uh, as I, I said, we start with the yeah. theoretical education. Then we have the practical application. So also uh, this year we will start in March uh, um, and it will finish in July. So it's around 15, 16 uh, weeks. And uh, also the company, because of course they have to be there and they have to co commit it to, to work together, even with the teams. So it's really important to make the, the kickoff on the company side, on site. And it's also interesting for the students. Then we adapted a sprint. And also, as you here see, it's really important that the kickoff of the company is really first, that they think when they also get this theoretical education, which is the challenge. So it's really important that at the beginning, they got just some theory and then even it, it's mixed uh, and then we adopted a sprint, but what is a sprint? I will come later to that. Then also they will build prototypes. So at the end of the day or some, some digital prototypes and then they go to the testing. So, and the demo day, and we have some testers from the company and at the end is like the transfer 
um, presentation. Of course, the company should um, participate and we may run this whole digital. So we can also build this whole digital blob. It's also something which we can do uh, in Ingenium or you can adapt it. And um, then uh, we also make some on-site. Uh, here uh, is like, um, yeah, just uh, from the winter uh, 2021. So what we did here, we had the company, they are called Atruvia, this IT company, and they make all the um, the IT services for all the, 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 the banks uh, in uh, in Germany, uh, but it's like more Raiffeisenbank, so it's like 700, 800 um uh, Volksbank is not machine engineering, but it's an IT company. And so, because most of the, coming back to the whole topic, most of the mechanical engineer company, they settle on a separated IT company to, to make this movement. So we also test it here, but it's better when they work together. So yeah, we had like three um, yeah people who were there. They give the challenge. They were also guiding the teams. Then we were educating Carpil, the, the platform business model the developers. So that's our students who came from the IT department or also business administration, um, generally engineering. And then why we call it uh, um, Carpil, on, there's another lecture. So they just give like five credit points here. And in the other lecture, we are uh, educating uh, innovation coaches. So in normal proce uh, proce product development processes, you have like a mentor or, or a coach who guide them through. So there are two separated um, uh, lectures and then we bring them together. And also these coaches, they have other parts which they coach the teams uh, through that uh, innovation process. So and in this case, we had like four teams and uh, each team got one coach or two coach because like, like it's an elective lecture and probably sometimes they have two coaches uh, or three. And then we had this sprint. And also on this side, uh, Carson and me, we educated the platform uh, economy students. And on the other lecture, Manuel and Laura, they did the innovation um, the process. I talked a lot about methods. And uh, of course I came from uh, the department uh, to develop uh, methods. But what is really important, you have a problem and at the end you have a goal. And in this case, it's really important that the, the picture is on the wall, that it's, you have like a good room and everything. And it doesn't care if you have a, a yellow hammer, a red hammer or whatever, because also students, they think, oh, I do the method, I did the method and then I have innovation or I did it right. So most of the time they forgot what is the goal. And it's not like making the method and then you have it. So we, we also take really aware that it's important. The method can help you to, to reach your goal. Um, just some slides here. Uh, it's also a book. They can read the books. Uh, we also give them some books, but it's better to make it with um, uh, yeah, some uh, the the e-learning the e uh, on, on the MOOCs. So uh, coming here, uh, when we start couple, we, we started with that in the summer 2020. So it was with Ullmann. Ullmann is a manufacturing company. So if you uh, yeah, need some tablets in the morning, you have these blisters to make that out. So they are really good in producing that machines. And they sell these machines to all the pharma companies like Pfizer, uh, BioNTech, and how, how they named it. And we started there. And also they built some years later. You can see the platform business model, but they call it PackSide. Then later we called that uh, we we were going on as I told with uh, Stiel, and they went really straight to the market. So at the beginning also we test about the challenges, and uh, here Stiel was really going straight to the market. But it was hard to, for the students also to to work together with Corona and and everything. Later on, we also had three uh, different partners. One was like wind turbine. It's the biggest marketplace for used uh, wind turbines, uh, so they are trading that. And yeah, yeah, wind turbines. So if you have the wind turbines or like in, I know in Germany, the big wind turbine and uh, uh, wind turbine, yeah, yeah, wind, yeah. And uh, so they said we can make a repower or, or on that field because they have um, that they can build a new one, which is more efficiency and what you do with the old one. So, and uh, so they make this an old one also cost like 3 million euros. So it's a big, big deal to, to handle that. So it's also a marketplace. And um, we had two different challenges. Then, as I told you, we, we, we were continuing with Atruvia. Uh, here was really interesting case. Uh, then we really made some, some research and we limited uh, on, on seven students because um, Google said, okay, you have to make a sprint with not more than, than seven, seven students, uh, seven people in, in a team. And they have also like 20,000 employees. They are world market leader. 
and uh, they built electrical engines. And now they went like two years ago to have like cyber physical systems or HEVs, automated gate vehicle, where which brings something from A to B. So they also opened this new, but they don't know. So it's a really established companies with over 20,000 employees. And now they like to settle a digital platform business model. But also they don't know because they don't have a lot of uh, engineers. And probably in this year, uh, you know, Flixbus, that's like the, the bus company. It's also a platform business model because they are not owning the buses. So they orchestrate the market. They have the local bus companies. And on the other side, they have like uh, passengers who like to go from A to B. So Flixbus is not uh, owning the, 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 the buses. Also, they, they bought Greyhound uh, in the United States. So they are really big. And also Daniel uh, Klaus, the, the main CEO, he was there at the, at the end in the transfer presentation. At the beginning, he couldn't be there. Of course, he had to fly to the United States and yeah, they have a busy as a CEO, but they made a video. So they just make a, a video, they send it in WhatsApp and they give some motivation to the students. And so they were really motivated uh, to run. And what we also did in this year, we were working together with other university. So we had two universities and we mixed the students and we made the kickoff. And then after that, they work uh, like with... Um, uh, uh, teams uh, digital on, on the digital uh, way, uh, distributed teams. And nowadays uh, we work uh, with, it's also subsidiary of um, BMW. So it's also kind of startup and uh, yeah, coming over. So don't uh, get uh, this uh, uh, lost. So when we were here restarting with the process, we say, okay, because we designed this new, the theory was, was clear. We will work with a MOOC. We will give them some tools. So we were using hmm, how we can do that in, in, in 10 weeks. And uh, yeah, it's like a five a credit point uh, course. And uh, what we do, did then, uh, we adopted uh, and we designed the Smart Platform Design Sprint. So we also um, combined the lecture with some research. What we did, uh, we were uh, using the well-known Google Sprint. Google Sprint is just one week. And Google makes a lot of a uh, lot of sprints, and we combine that with uh, digital platform business methods. And uh, at the end, we designed uh, this, so we call it a smart platform design sprint. So we can run this in a week, but of course, you can say, okay, um, the Monday is just uh, in the first week, and the second week they they do the Tuesday, uh, the, the Tuesday stuff. And here you can see in black, this is just the things uh, which uh, it's original from the Google Design Sprint. So you will ask the experts. So it's really important that they have expert knowledge. They should have some goals, the screen um, the questions, but also they have to understand the ecosystem, the entities, who's the producer, who's the consumer. Uh, they have to get the value. So it's really important, even in industrial uh, engineering, that they understand who are the processes and the value chain. And uh, of course, so that's like normal, like the problem. Then they go to the solution. Then of course, we, we select one solution with the partner. Then they make the deep dive. And here they build the prototyping and um, at the end, they, they make the user test. So we can also compromise that. Uh, here, we also built that in in a Kanban board. So it's the same rows. So here you have like the dashboard and you have here the Monday, you have the Tuesday, Wednesday. And also here, they have uh, some construction, uh, what they have to do. So here, if I zoom, so they also have some questions. So they it's like a menu. So they, they can go inside and then they can, can read it and have to prepare it. Also here, we had some color with the team. So it's also important to have the role, who make the decision, who's the facilitator, who's writing, who's presenting. So, and uh, that's give them the structure to the innovation process. And even if they did it, they can make a tick and they, they, they can continue. Also, it's written in a manual by hand. And we also did it on um, uh, the Myra board. So it's the same process again, but when you make this on a digital world, so they can come together on on micro uh, on Miro, they can collaborate, and then they can make uh, this uh, process uh, and and day by day they continue. Some teams are a little faster, some teams are slower, but the innovation coach bring them through that process. And here also it's a small zoom. So this was with Flixbus. So they also make prototyping, like they build the application, and uh, then they continue to give them some. Uh, structure on the way, uh, which is also important. What we have guest speakers. Uh, also, I told you we work together with, with Bernd. Bernd was the founder of uh, Pferde.de. Pferde.de was the biggest marketplace in Europe for horses. So if you like to to buy a horse, then you can go uh, to to Pferde.de, and then on the one side you have people 
who like to sell a, a horse. And on the other side, you have uh, people um, who, who like to buy a horse. And he sold that company really successful some years ago. And then when Fukushima came, he said, okay, I have to do something also with the the energy uh, tr transition. And then he built a new marketplace, windturbine.com. Uh, it's also good to show the students that, you know, yeah, we started with Larry Page and, and all that. So that that's really far away, but we have it here. And also in industrial engineering, we have platform business models. Also, we have that in Karlsruhe, uh, probably, you know, Chrono24. If you can, you can trade your Rolex, Rolex there, really high um, or expensive um, uh, watches. Or also some students found a company and they started with the problem of midwives. So ongoing parents, they are not finding a midwife in Germany. It's really a problem to find midwives. And so they also build a marketplace and they call it Fiami, find a midwife. On the one side, you have all these ongoing parents. And on the other side, you have the midwives because the midwives, they like to be on the customers, on the parents, but they got a lot of emails. They have to a lot of uh, office work. And uh, so these pains, they, they were going to, to, to solve. Here, it's just um, some, um, as you see, in 2026, uh, 16. So these are companies uh, who built in the business uh, to a business market and some of them are really uh, successful also they make a revenue over 50 uh, million euros and they were just founded in uh, 2018 and so in the business uh, to business because we also educate most of the students to go because we came from technical university so we have this uh, focus here I will skip that. I have to look a little bit about the time. Um, so coming about the team building module, it's really important. And also we adapt here about the team building. So we, we call it, that's the XLab Academy. And also you can use this. So if you go to the XLab uh, web, web page, uh, it's for in it's in English. So we translate it also in English. The whole website is in German. But then you can go. And what we do, the students have to watch the videos before they come to, to the lecture. And there are some, some famous... Um, yeah, out of what is important about the team. And we have like different modules. So one is team building, then agile project management, also business model innovation. If they have to fill a business model canvas or something that like Alexander Osterwaller can explain that better. And even we have good, good speakers to do it and also pitching. So at the end, it's like pitching and pitching is also important. So they have some well speakers and then they should watch this before they come uh, to, to, the, to the lecture. And then on site, we make some um, team building. So even here, so, some warm up games. Then we, we talk about the theory. Also, probably, you know, this. So if a team comes together, they have forming, then they have the storming phase, norming, and hopefully they will perform even if the students don't know each other. They, um, yeah, they don't know. And then at the end, of course, there's a pressure. They have to deliver. So we go also make a small deep dive here. And then straight we go to the group work. So we say, okay, introduce yourself. Then you have 20 minutes. And then you have to find a team name, also a mantra. Uh, what will you like to communicate with Microsoft Teams, with WhatsApp. You can use Slack. Even have some rules. If someone is coming late, then uh, they have to bring a cake next next time. Uh, so they, they can have these rules and also the innovation coach help them to, to guide them. And we are then in this phase more like the head coach. Uh, even if they introduce themselves, when they came, um, they make a 16 personalities test before. So uh, we use this for Maya and Prix. And then you all say, okay, I am more the introverted guy or extroverted. And so we also had uh, these uh, different types so you can print this out and then really easy the students write the name there then they say okay probably here i'm an entrepreneur uh, or i'm an ambassador and then if you have the students you have like three ambassadors or, or, or uh, like entrepreneurs one and then you also see uh, where the students are came from and yeah that's like the four you have analysts or diplom diplomats and then it's important to mix that you have also like uh, disciplined uh, teams and you also can make this in the virtual world so on a Myra board but also uh, you can make it physical to, to mix the students and at the end they have to present a team poster so that's like it was the team they called them uh, fireflies and uh, so it's also for the company when we go there so they, they see and of course the company also like to hire students later and if they see they perform they offer them a master thesis or also some uh, working now for these companies where we uh, work together and they really have to get deliverables so it's really clear what they have to do and then we send this to the company and for the students what is the most important thing for the students 
it's the exam. <laughs> so that's also the point. Uh, at the end, we have a template. And on the template, they also have like the team poster. They have the result because at the end of the day, they really make and design a digital platform business model. And uh, I like to, um, I can show you later, probably the time is running out. So, and all the things, what they do on site, they have to write a report at the beginning. So it's like in the introduction, but then they make the deep dive. And so it's a structured report and the companies also can, can, can use this. And uh, so they, they are really uh, happy to do that. So, okay, then I would just uh, show you that because the, the, no, no, the, the point is uh, probably you like to adapt and I think um the i think it's good uh, if you say hey probably we are like to adapt the lecture or you can you can see some um how, how is the report at the end but yeah so this is also confidential so I, I i can just show you some 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 stuff so not the final results but as you can see so it's like 60 pages and of course here's an nda so then uh, here it's in German, but you, it doesn't care. So at the beginning, they have the team. They also make the team poster. They write short introduction. And here also, when you make this process from Monday till uh, Wednesday, they have like different ideas and concepts. And so they also have to write these concepts. And you can say, okay, one or two students or in power couples, they work together. They should make this concept because at the end of the day, you have to see which or what was which student was doing. And then we take one of these and then we make the deep dive. And then also they structured it in Monday, Tuesday and everything. And now this is really interesting because what we do here, it's the same structure of the MOOC. So when we do, when they do the MOOC, they start, okay, what is the platform? What type of platform is it? What is, what is the pricing model? So the students, or when we make the small, so the individual um, point, what they have to deliver, is it open or closed monetization? How they will launch this strategy? So they have to, first they learn it theory in the MOOC, then they got a real challenge. And here they have to make the reflection and have to, to build uh, the, the, the concept. And um, yeah, also the report, as you can see, yeah, they, it's a master course. So they, they did some, um, here you see the team post. That's really easy at the first to, to make that together, the, the, the structure. And so yeah, I will go to the end. So you have to see it. I can't tell you, show you that, but yeah, it's in German. So no one understands. <laughs> uh, here, you, when we make it on site, so we, of course we worked a lot of with, with post-its and also they, they, um, the coaches sometimes they say, okay, uh, they can't read it. So this is like the, the, the ecosystem around this cyber physical system. And also we use these methods to get some 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 structure. And yeah, at the, at the end of the day, they have this uh, final report, and which is also important that they have the sources so that the quality is really high. And of course, they know because that we also give uh, to, to, to the company. That's like the, the, the deal. And so now I talked a lot and uh, yeah, we will make uh, a short uh, estimation conference. So we make uh, four teams uh, really, really quickly. So uh, we have like here, yeah, you four go together. You, you can just go together and you and here. Yeah. And uh, the first, the first question. Ah, ah. Uh, so... Yeah, just uh, just go together, or if you have five, so you have to. Um, uh, I have a question. I have to question, and I like to have the answer. So everyone uh, have uh, here just uh, make decision who who is writing, and you have like one one minute, and the question is, or you can also make together. It's it's okay. So just tell me, uh, how many petrol stations you had. Okay, we have we have one we have uh, what one one minute. So you have to make uh, yeah. The, how many gas stations were there in Germany in 2022? So some some facts about Germany. We have over 80 million uh, persons uh, living there, citizens. So um, what do you think? Just just estimate a number, but not Google it. So don't cheat. <laughs> Okay, 30 minutes, make a decision, 30 minutes. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah, I'll just write a name. Yeah, the name and write the name on it. That could be nice. <laughs> nah, no worries. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. 
Okay, make a decision. Make a decision. I have to for the first votes. Just write a name and yeah, there is no wrong or right. <laughs> <laughs> so ten ten seconds. Ten seconds. Uh, you need it later. Ten seconds. Ten ten seconds. You need it later. Ten seconds. Thank you. Ten ten seconds. You need it later. Ten ten seconds. Okay, two 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 seconds. So make a final decision. You we made one. What do you think? Okay. okay. You made one decision. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. And finally. Okay. Uh, ah no. So I have all uh, yours is missing, right? Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, Okay, I I go here. So if we, so we have, um, yeah, it's it's a big range. So we twenty thousand, and I think the highest is one million. <laughs> so it, it's it's somewhere here. Then what is, uh, oh eight eight. Oh oh okay, that that's interesting. So then we have thirty uh, thousand. Then we have 83,000, 80, uh, 120,000. So, okay. uh, so, and finally, oh, we have also 80,000 here. So, yeah, if, if we see, like, uh, I think uh, no one uh, you, from you is working in purchasing, so that's good. <laughs> so, and... Uh, yeah, if 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 you come back, probably it's less uh, than you uh, were thinking. So uh, yeah, and uh, uh, so it's a uh, so you also get the, the 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 gold. So yeah, it's also a small thing, but making some estimations about about some stuff. So it's good to to go on what we normally do. But I will I will skip that. So even I will show you that and then we come to the last uh, exercise because like this is also some small things which you when you work together in groups so one point is when we start the the, the first uh, lecture we say hey here are some different kinds of types of, of digital platform business models so we also say okay you have to select one of them also it's important to to make the link to this company because uh, some companies are have or the same brand, and then some students get lost. So we also had this expertise, and then they have to come here. Also, you can make this in power couple. So they started to work together because you have to collaborate. Um, probably later you work in distributed teams, and then it's also really time box that they should present this uh, in in three minutes. Yeah, my idea was to do that, um, but I think the time is running out, and we also give them some. Um, some templates, so it's really easy to get the the the, the start. I should say when it was founded, most of them have a mothership company, so that's that's really interesting. What they are doing, what is the value proposition, the pricing, and then you have two different kinds of customers because you not have just one who is um, you have the demand and the supply. And here is uh, one example uh, for like Airbnb. So it was also founded in 2008. So you have also like the host uh, come inside, you have the guests, and as you saw, you have the hosts and the guests. So it's really that they have to understand that even you have different uh, pricing models and also they have partners. So you don't have to build that every, everything by, by your own because most of the companies, even industrial, they, they have to do that. When we go then to, to general or make two group works, but it's really important to show the time. When the time is running out, then I I can I have the uh, the permission to to talk again even when when you make that uh, with a company or some, some workshop it's really important to 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 show the time and uh, that is really time boxed and then the roles we have one is the moderator in the team and I said okay you are the moderator then uh, you are the timekeeper to say okay at the end you have to deliver something someone is writing that's also important and at the end who is presenting and I make this straight. So they have the roles, and of course you you can switch the roles. But then they started uh, to 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 work, and yeah, the idea was to to go here with uh, Chrono Twenty Four, Uber, XOM Materials, and Tapio. But yeah, we will we will skip this exercise, but we will make a funny one. So I will go back. So and the idea is 
as you see in teams. Uh, so you will get the jackpot who's winning. It's also a small warm up game. So you have this paper in front of you. And uh, we also have like one minute a time and you have to uh, build a plane or a chat or what you like. But, but the big but is, so if you're writing with the right hand, use the left hand. So the, 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 when you write with the right hand, make the right hand here and you have to make it with the left hand. And of course you have to, you have to work together in a team. So get prepared. You can also stand up, probably it's better. And then if you have it, we make the competition and which is flying uh, the, the fastest, so we'll win. So, and that, then I finish. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I will, I will, I will, I will stop. So just get prepared. Um, but remember, rem <coughs> remind you using your, your not strongest hand. No, no, not cheating. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, start again. Uh, I, I will, I will say when we start. Okay. So you need, uh, uh, can you, can you come here? Uh, can you come here? So I will, I will change then, then everyone. Okay. The countdown is running and think that's the checkpoint for today. And then we go to the coffee break. So of course, afterwards we will see who, who will go, go and, and fly. So three, two, one, start. Forty seconds. Okay, yeah, we will do that later. Thirty seconds. Think about yesterday, we had a lot of stuff in work in process, so Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, stop. Everyone stops. Okay. So what we do now, you need also pilots. Every team needs one pilot. So the pilot will come here. So each team needs a pilot, so come here. The pilot, the pilot, come here. And so that no one got hurt, the other people, you can, you can go here a little bit. Go, go this way and a pilot. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. The, the, so yeah, the pilot. Probably you can move here just for one second. I don't like that someone got hurt. So just go, go a little bit separated. So. This is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Thing is about a check port, and he. You can take the right hand. So, uh, yeah. So there's also some competition. So we have the students make fifty meters. So I will see. No, I'm joking. So okay. So we make at the same time, and think it's about the check port. At the same time, yeah, and who will be uh, far away, who, who will win. So we make one to all together. So we count, we make five, four, three, two, one, fly. So uh, what do you think? Okay, minus. Uh, who, who was there? Okay, then your guts. The checkboard. Uh, yeah. So thank you very much. So we didn't have that much time for the for the, but I think you had some fun. So also this is some small exercises to make the lecture uh, more convenient. So if you like to stay in touch, also you can use that uh, to build the platform business model. Thank you. Oh, I do like this workshop. So thank you, Patrick. We got excellent ideas for activating our students.